Hi, everybody. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, I, you know, I like most cruise lines. And um, many of you know that most of my groups and everything have been on Princess Cruise Lines. And I'm on Princess a lot uh, because they go to my destination. I like the staff on board. I know what I'm getting. I like the entertainment. I love the game shows. Uh, and somebody asked me, well, is there anything that Princess is that you're having an issue with with Princess at all, at all, at all? Yep. Yes, there is. So one thing that Princess has done is they've taken a lot of their booking of items and booking of things for instance, booking specialty dining. Uh, let's say, let's go on particular, one in particular, the Sun Princess. And they have some specialty dining on there, and two in particular that many people are trying to get to, right? You're trying to do the Spellbound experience, and you're going to try and do the Love by Burrito experience, both of which you can book ahead of time, not just when you get on the ship, but you have to use the app. Now, you used to be able to do it online on the computer, but they've taken that option away and you can only do it through the app. Not only that, you can't even call in and make that reservation. They won't do it. So, what kind of issue do I have? Well, my app just doesn't work. It can book shore excursions, it can book, you know, check out my cruises, how many days and everything that's going on. I can log in and set up a credit card for payments when I'm on board. I can put in all my travel, you know, to, to get ready for the embarkation day. I could do all that in the app. What I can't do is pay for anything. I put four different credit cards into the system. And every time I try and book Spellbound or Love by Brito or any other specialty restaurant, it says that it could not be completed. Please try using another card. So I've used Visa, I've used MasterCard, and I've used American Express, all of which didn't work. I then said, well, uh, normally when this happens, you just need to update your app. So I deleted the app completely reinstalled the app, went in and put the information all in again, <laughs> tried again, nothing. So then I sent an email to, you know, their, uh, their customer service desk, desk to get it resolved. Never heard back from them other than a letter, an email saying that they received my email and somebody will reach out to me. After a week, nobody had reached out to me. So I called and I got in onto the customer service there and they tried to get somebody from the app to, you know, check it out and see what's going on. And they asked me, did you delete your app? I said, yes, I have. I've reinstalled it. Have you tried different credit cards? Yes, I have. I've tried different credit cards. And so they said, okay, well, we're going to have to send this to the relations desk and everything. And, uh, you know, have you tried emailing us at this? I said, yes, I have. They said, oh, oh okay. Um, can, you, can you try sending another email and we'll make sure that we received it. So I sent another email while they were on the phone with me. And they said, okay, they've received my email. I said, okay. Now I've done this before, I said, and I said, I've called a couple times now and this still isn't resolved. And now my cruise is coming up in September and I'm missing out on those two dining opportunities because I can't pay for it. Had it still been on the, you know, on the computer, I would have been able to pay for it. I never had an issue on the computer, but I have an issue on the app dramatically all the time. So yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I said, uh, okay, so you've received it now. Uh, you know, what happens next? They said, well, I said, because no one, no one got back to me last time. And they said, okay, well, don't worry. Don't worry because 
Uh, somebody will get back to you for sure within 48 hours. We've escalated it and you'll get it. Uh, that was two weeks ago. And I still haven't heard back from them. Not even another email saying that they've received my other email. And at this point, it's too late anyway. Because I can't book those dining reservations because they're all gone. I've been trying for a month and a half to book those. And yes, I know in order to book Spellbound, you have to have your cruise paid off. I had my cruise paid off. I had everything done I needed to do, and I still could not pay for that through the app. So I do think that one of the mistakes they did is taking that, being able to book things and pay for it. Like you can still book shore excursions on the computer. So why can't I still book my dining? They moved everything to the app. And the app is worked on way more than the website. And every time they work on the app, it takes a while for things to start working again. Well, this app has been redone and started again for almost two months, and I still can't do it. I still can't make a payment. Not only that, I every time I get to a cruise ship now, I have to go to the cruise desk and give them a different credit card because it won't let them, you know, I can't use my main credit card, even though I've been using it for 10 years, once they did the switching to the app only, it suddenly would not take the credit card. It'll take the credit card to book the excursions. It just won't take it to use as my onboard account for some reason. And it definitely won't do it to let me book my specialty dining and pay for it. Which means on all of my princess cruises that I have upcoming, I can't book those yet. And I've called a few times, and I've emailed a few times. Now, I could go over people's and go directly to some contacts I have, but I'm not that person. I'm not going to do that. I like to go through the proper channels of doing things and getting things done. And so I think I've exhausted that venue, that avenue, when you send in a few emails to the help desk and the, that you're supposed to send it to and haven't gotten it. When you've called and talked to them and they told you that they will get back to you within 48 hours because they didn't get back to me last time, you expect it to be done. So if I have one complaint right now, besides them not getting back to me, that happens on a lot of cruise lines, folks. Uh, I'll be honest with you. But the changing to everything on the app. I'm okay with being able to do things on my app, but hey, why take it all off the computer website? Like the shore excursions are still there. Why can't I pay for my dining the same way? Especially for specialty dining venues like Love by Burrito or Spellbound. Because those ones you have to book so far in advance. I don't care about Sabatini's or the Crown Grill, you know, you, those you can book on the ship if you have to. But definitely the ones that with very, very limited seating that go on for a, quite a time and are very highly popular, I, I should be able to book it. Not only should I be able to book it, but when they say they're going to get back to me, they should get back to me. <laughs>